So, you've reached the Last Chance Occupation Placement Agency. If we can't place you, nobody can. Uh, I'm sorry, you'll have to make an appointment. I have people about to come in. Good day. You're late. Pardon? Sorry, I forgot to turn on the translator. What is your full name? I am Zortek, ruler of a thousand worlds. Really? No, I only timeshare on a small moon, and I am actually a member of a hive mind. My number is two. Okay. What uh, sort of job are you looking for? Something that allows me to study you, Earthlings. You are fascinating, albeit strange. in a workplace. I find your Earth office equipment to be inferior and will instead fill my office with furniture and devices from the planet Kreplock. Okay. Uh, tell me about your previous work experiences. I was assigned to study the ruling species of this planet. You mean humans? No, cats. Cats. You feed them, buy them furniture, and clean up after them. And unlike dogs, you never order them to sit, stay, or roll over. Clearly, your species is quite submissive to the whims of cats. Uh, what sort of hours were you hoping to work? What are hours? We do not have them on our planet. Are they some type of food? measurement of time? Uh, you know, how long something takes? What are you hoping to work? Before 7 p.m., because that is rush hour for us. And I cannot imagine a thing worse than to be caught in an interplanetary traffic jam. That would be, uh, yes, most unfortunate. Um, do you consider yourself a team player? Of course. My last job I was part of a hive. What did your previous employer say about you? He said through the hive mind that having my eyes on stocks in no way limited my work capacity. Yes, I see. Um, yeah, it, let me see if we have you. Uh, oh, hell, he has one. Um, a magazine journalist? Uh, there's an opening for an interview column. Yes, I could begin to understand the fascinating thing that is the human mind. for coming in. Uh, uh... What is your full name? Lucille Yala Wana Waka. It's okay to mispronounce it. Everyone does. I get a job I enjoy. I'll just take whatever job I can get. Would you require in a workplace? Well, though I'm sure nobody will hire me. I suppose a desk would be nice. Yes, yes, a desk, of course. Um, tell, tell me about your previous work experiences. I was the before person on an antidepressant commercial. I hated that job. I always wish I could be the happier after person. Uh, yeah. uh, what, what sort of hours are you hoping to work? It doesn't matter. So, have plenty of time. Do you see yourself as a team player? but I'm just no good for team morale. Yeah. Um, did your previous employer have anything to say about you? Lighten up. Think of a 
a job as a, a cook who found an opening at a nearby restaurant. A cook? I've always wanted to be a cook. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for coming in. Uh, what is your full name? I am Unit 147, Model 536982. May I just call you Mr. 147? That is acceptable. I understand that organic life forms have very small data banks. Uh, what sort of job are you looking for, Mr. 147? A job where I can make use of my new upgrade. Reason? It costs more than you'll ever want to know. Mm -hmm. What would you require in a workplace? I need only a power outlet and a data port. Tell me about your previous work experiences. I was a museum exhibit, a billionaire's toy, and an extra in a sci-fi movie. Well, you return to the Jedi? Yes, I serve drinks for Jabba the Hutt. Ah, that looks familiar. Uh, what sort of hours are you hoping to work? I will work any time, so long as I am recharged every 24 hours. Would you consider yourself a team player? I get along well with anyone I can wirelessly network with. I don't work with anyone who has a virus, and I also dislike hackers. your previous employer to say about you. He said I was dedicated, but my model was obsolete. Um, let's see. Ah, here we are. What a job as a tech support worker. I think we can find you a position with a company who actually understands computers. That would be good. It's not like I understand you, you moms. There's a man who leads a life of danger To everyone he meets, he stays a stranger With every move he makes, another chance he takes Thank you. What is your full name? Bones. Jill Bones. Uh, what sort of job are you looking for? I'm hoping for a change of pace from my previous work experience. Mm -hmm. So no lasers, spinning saw blades, shootouts, or prolonged death traps that I must escape from at the last moment. But I'd like to keep the gadgets. What would you require in a workplace? Some place to store 50 pounds of high-tech gadgets. Ah, so, so you're a, uh, No, 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 I'm not a secret agent. Why would you ever say that? That's ridiculous. Why'd you ever think that? Uh, I was going to say a techie. Oh. It's <clears throat> uh, your previous work experiences. That's top secret. You won't say, huh? I told her I'd have to kill you, me being a secret agent and I... Fired, weren't you? Yes, I was often fired at. No, I'm. Oh, never mind. Oh, let me see. Uh, your previous employer? Let's see. It's on a need to know basis. Of course. Um, let's see. Uh, ah, here we go. Um, I put a job as a. Dump Double, the local movie house is making a, uh, spy movie. I believe you know more than you should, but I shall see about this job. To everyone he meets, he stays a stranger.